Hello YouTubers, I got the Craftsman in here, working on it tonight, and this probably won't help a lot of you who have money mowers, because a lot of you who have money mowers don't have hydros as transmissions, but I know um, Redneck Computer Geek does, and it might help him, he might do it, I don't know, but you know on the hydros, you have to pull that little lever in order to push it around. I think it's just annoying. It's not in a good spot. It doesn't really lock in or anything. But if you have a pin and everybody loses the pin or don't have nothing to put in there. So what I decided to fix that problem with this. In this position right here, it is where I can push it. And then I will pull it up. And it locks in place now I can drive. I had to cut, I cut these out with the grinder. As you can see, I gotta go back and weld, strengthen that up. This is just a rod. That rod right there. That I'm touching. And it goes through those zip ties, which is just there to support it up. And it comes back here. To that little lever right there. And there's two springs on my setup, which I don't recommend doing. But what it is is I have let me get this little right here. What I what I have is um this spring right here is used to when you pull that back, it pulls it back to where you can push it. And then the other spring is used to pull it that the other way. And this spring has to be a little bit easier to pull, not as much tension on it, so that you can pull it up, but it's still got enough, have enough to where it will pull back all the way. Because this piece, even though you might let go of this and push that, it's still, it, it's got to have spring or something spring to pull it, because it can be tough. And there was a belt guard right there. Came in and I had to get rid of that, so I don't know. Hope the belt stays on, but I had to, you know, welded this piece on to hold that spring. But yeah, so this pulls it this way, and when you pull it this way, it lets you push it around manually, and if it goes forward, then you're able to drive it. So I recommend this getting rid of this first spring up here and going bringing that rod all the way and attaching it to this that would have been the smarter better way but this way was what I tried it it works don't get me wrong it works but it's definitely not easy to do so yep that's that I haven't really done anything else. I don't think. I don't really remember what I did last, but this is what I got for Christmas. Yeah, I've used it tonight to help take tires off and get underneath to take that belt tensioner off. And I believe it'll come in real good use. Have it on this beam. These are not the original mats that came with it. I had to make some. But, yep, I'll be using it a lot. So I don't have to take decks off, do blades and stuff. But that's kind of what I've been working on tonight. I was going to do um, kind of what Phyllis Front did with his um, slap shifter. And you had the rod coming with the that we used to raise and lower the deck but um that was going to be harder than a, what I wanted to do because I already cut it out and so I just went with and I would have to I would have to run it th back this way diagonal and down so that would be harder to do so yes that's what I've done to that Well, if I do any more, I'll let y'all know. This is P.O. Boy 97.
like, rate, subscribe. See y'all later.